We'd be happy to. Do they want to respond? Do they want to respond? Lining you up. Okay. So you had Kelvin and Mr. Uh, Paul Fries, uh, okay. Hercules. So have the, uh, staff You're still on public comment. Yeah. Well, that, that's what the Brown Letter Chair told me. We respond to a question that comes from the community through the, the chair and the subcommittee members, and this has been logged and uh, uh, tracked. Uh, putting that aside, to answer your question, when every project gets complete, we want terms today. It looks 100% complete. There is a process that's called close out that project that takes about 180 days beyond the completion date. That's when we sit down and finish up the financial uh, closeout, when we make sure that the contractor does his uh, uh, partial risk correction. And, and there is dispute. There is some uh, list of claims that the contractor can put three or four months after the project is complete. And it, it takes time to negotiate those because it comes down to a point, okay, you go to the court, bring your attorney, we will go to the court, bring the attorney, and before we go that, we sit down and look at what the claim is, what is the shortfall, what is the options to have, what is it worth it to put an attorney in, and would it cost us more than to sit down and settle some of these issues. Some of it comes after the project comes. And you know what, you're absolutely correct. It, the dates you mentioned is absolutely right on. But we're still in the process of closing out this project, and we are not financially. Uh, uh, warranties, guarantees, um, uh, retention releases, and all that stuff takes, takes, takes probably three or four months after the completion date. I assure you, we will still negotiations or the court this school that is beautifully done and we're all sitting here because the financial uh, closeout and, and, uh, 